Scientists now agree that the atom consists of many states of being. They have proved that while the mass and energy of the atom change identity, it does not disintegrate into nothingness. This immutable law naturally applies to man, for he is composed of billions of atoms. He is created of elemental molecules, all subject to the compulsive laws of the universe. After a brief sojourn on earth, as a complete unit of nature, he dies. But this does not mean oblivion. His body changes back into its different elements. These atoms are indestructible and are still alive and a necessary and useful part of nature. Einstein's equation E equals mc squared is that every atom in the universe and beyond is a necessary and useful part of nature. As you and I and Jesus and Einstein, as well as all of the rest of the human race are or were composed of a molecular organization of atoms, we too are part of this vast natural empire, this all-powerful atomic mass and energy system. So even when we die, we are never lost, but revert back to the kingdom of the atom or nature. Years ago, I felt I had found the ultimate answer to that age-old and much-debated question about human existence, and thus I wanted to leave some kind of record of my thoughts. I saw myself getting old and dying with a secret I felt should be shared. So in a lonely but beautiful gorge, a place I had known since childhood, I carved on an outcropping of solid sandstone facing the bay the following statement. Nature equals God.